So it was the first day of the travel and before we took the plane, professor thought we would take a good lunch before the flight. So we went to this buckwheat noodle restaurant nearby. It's called Makbuksu. Mak means kind of roughly made and buksu means noodle. So basically the word means a noodle that's just roughly made as fast as possible. However, basically it's just buckwheat noodle mixed with some spicy sweet sauce and makoksu is actually quite good for losing weight because buckwheat does not have a high calorie and they are high in protein, I think. After eating lunch, we went to the airport because now it's time to take our flight. Now we arrive at the Jeju airport. Now as you can see, the airport is right at the coast so you can see the ocean afar. And the interior was welcoming and well, as well as the decor outside. Our plan was to take a cab to the hotel not far from the airport so, and uh, um, I guess Jeju people love Snoopy. We arrived at the hotel. This hotel had a board game rent service so we're definitely trying that later. We got our room key and we checked out our room. And there was this blinder between the room and the bathroom. I mean, like, what the f is this for? The blinder was placed inside the room and not at the bathroom, so I guess this was for uh, creeping out or perving on your roommate or something. Neat double singles and a balcony. It was so windy that you can hear wind if you listen closely. Speaking of wind, did you know that Jeju Island or Jeju-do is also called Samdado? Sam means three, Ta means many, and Do is island, meaning an island with a lot of three things. Those three things are rock, wind, and woman. The rock and wind part is understandable since it's a volcanic island. The reason why it's known to be a lot of women is because in the past, men used to travel out to the sea and only a few came back, resulting with only women in the island. Anyways, our next plan was having dinner, but we had some time before that. So our professor, my potato friend, and I went for a walk to this place called Yongduwang. By the way, if you're visiting Jeju and you like taking a walk, I recommend you to book a hotel near the coast. The coast has a neat walking course and a cycling course as well. Plus the views are quite nice. For example, this place called Yongyeondari is along the walking course. Personally, this was my favorite sightseeing place because the site was a mixture of water, a bit of plant, and also a traditional architecture. All well balanced. Additionally, there are a few old sites like this one right here. It says this is a place where local people used to take a rest and drink water. Not a far from the bridge, if you keep walking alongside the coast, the little mermaid comes out. Best movie ever. And alongside little mermaid, the Yongduam. You can't really see its shape from here, so we went to go take a better look. This is the Chinese character of Yongduam in order. Yong means dragon. Du means head, Am means a large rock. So basically, Yongduan means a huge rock shaped like a dragon's head. And you'll see what I mean. As you can see, this looks like a dragon's face with its mouth open, facing left. 
And this looks like my professor taking a picture of a rock that looks like a dragon's face with a mouth open facing left. Right next to Yongduram, there's a small place where you can try various seafood with just 10,000 won. The seafoods are collected on the day by the female divers, so it's fresh as much as it can be. But unfortunately, we had a dinner plan soon and we had to start going back to our stay. Yeah, he's tired from the walk. And damn, Snoopy really is a thing here. Our dinner was a marinated pork rib barbecue house. The meat was thick and partially sliced so that the marinade simmers inside as well. The marinade was soy sauce based, so it had that umami flavor, but basically it was just sweet and savory. The meat itself was quite nice. But personally, I love the unique side dishes. This is pickled mushroom, and yes, that sounds weird, but it works actually. A tofu salad with a black sesame seed sauce with some green, and various types of kimchi. I got myself a half glass of beer, and the meat was all cut off, ready to eat. Mmm, shiny. First bite. And yeah. Sweet and savory with deep scent of soy sauce and garlic. And with a little bit of beer, it worked quite well. Though I don't really drink beer. This kind of marinade is actually very easy to make, but what was different was that sauce in the middle. This is called beljot, and it's actually something very common in Jeju, but not on the South Korean peninsula. Beljot is fermented salted anchovies with raw garlic and spicy pepper seeds all mixed together. The way you eat it, as I was told, is to put the sauce plate onto the griddle and dip the pork all the way in. The taste was very hard to describe. Before the beljot boils, it tastes a bit bitter and salty. But after the melted boils, that bitterness becomes a savory and mommy flavor of seafood, which elevates the flavor of the bite into a different level. However, I think this could be one of those either you like it or hate it kind of dish, because it does have that pungent smell of seafood. So maybe this could be a challenge to foreigners, but I still recommend to try it if you get the chance to. Next day started with the hotel breakfast. There was something yellow, something greenish, another thing yellow, bread, etc, etc. I got myself some steamed dumpling, roasted chicken, hash brown, egg, sausage, and coffee. Though they look very basic, the taste was better than I expected. Better than most hotels I've been to. Plus, you can see the ocean while you eat, so that was quite neat as well. As you might have noticed, we didn't travel oh. to Jeju for vacation. It was to attend a precision engineering spring conference. There were numerous different fields of presentations, but we mostly attended to presentation about biomedical science. This was our first attendance to any conferences. So we were quite excited about what we could learn during the conference. Two hours later. I learned that this was a pain. But a while after, it was lunchtime and we were able to take a break. Lunch was provided from the hotel that hosted the conference. It was a Korean style lunch with a cost of 50,000 won, which is about 40 US dollar, which is expensive. 
The contents were soy sauce marinated quail legs, squid chatka, pickle, radish kimchi, sujongga, which is a dessert, and the main dish, which was uh, jeju pork belly kimchi stew. The taste itself wasn't bad, but it definitely wasn't worth 40 US dollar, so I was a bit disappointed. Well, after three more hours, the conference ended. Later on the same day, we visited a local market for dinner called Dongmun Shijang. But that'll be on the next video.